evening. Edward. Edward, what a surprise. You are my first outside visitor. And a battle it was to get here. <laughs> oh, uh, Monica, this young lady is uh, Miss Amy Vining. Oh, Laura's sister. I've heard a lot about you. And you're Mrs. Alan Quartermain. <laughs> you make it sound uh, so impressive. Oh, but it is. And your house seems to fit your name. If I had a house like that, I don't think I'd ever leave it. Well, maybe you can visit Monica and Alan when she's out of here. Oh, I'd love to. Almost forgot. Leslie and I picked up these things for you. I hope they're what you need. Oh, I'm sure they will be. Thank you, Amy. I'll just set them here. And I'll leave you two alone. It's nice to meet you, Mrs. Quartermain. Oh, Monica's just fine. Thank you, Monica. Nice to see you, Mr. Quartermain. Goodbye, Amy. She's a sweet girl. Bright, too. Smart as a whip. Now, how are you, Monica? Your coffee's getting cold. I don't really want it. You can go if you want. Do you want me to? But you must be busy. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? I'll stay as long as you need me to. Will you read it again? The telegram? It still says the same thing, Amy. Please. I regret to inform you that Jason Vining died of injuries suffered in a cargo accident off Malaga Coast. Further details to follow. Thank you. Amy, uh, somebody should tell your mother would you like me to call her? I don't have her number. I don't even know where she is. Bet you wonder why. No, you don't have to explain anything to me. She wouldn't care anyway. Not Barbara. You're sure? She's living with some man someplace. Probably not the same one that she ran off with. Not if I know Barbara. I'm sorry. You really mean that, don't you? Mm -hmm. We're friends, aren't we? You don't measure friendship by the amount of time you've known somebody. Sometimes you become friends because of an experience that you've shared. I guess so. I think it's unfortunate that we've shared this particular experience. Amy, with Rick and Leslie tied up in surgery, I called Laura. She and Scotty will be down to see you very soon. Not Laura. I love her, but I can't be with her. Would you tell me why? Because Laura has everything and I have nothing. You, um, you said something to me earlier. You said, uh, now there is no one, but there never really has been anyone. Is that true? Never? Anybody? I can't stand pity. happening, you know, and there's no family around. Laura's really upset. How long is she visiting with you? She came for a few days, but now that her father's dead, she's got no home to go back to. She said that her, her, her mother's away? Well, there's, there's really not much I can tell you about Barbara Vining. Uh, she kind of flipped out a couple of years ago. What do you mean? She's ill? No, we, she lost Laura as her daughter. But she still has Amy. Laura was kind of special, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I guess, you know, finding she couldn't handle it anymore, and then she just abandoned Amy, and she ran off with some guy. And just going from man to man. It's very sad. Amy says she doesn't even know where her mother is.
When are you going to start behaving so you can get out of there? Well, I'm trying. Not according to your chart. What happened? What do you mean? Monica, you had a rough day. Now, did you have too many visitors? Oh, well, Alan was here. Edward dropped in. You didn't do rounds tonight. No, I had Wilson take over. There was a memorial service for Amy's father, and I felt I had to be there. That's right. It's really been rough on her, happening so suddenly and being notified with a telegram. I guess I had no choice in how they told her. Yeah, well, uh, was Alan there at the service? Yes, he was very helpful in making the arrangements. He's taken quite a liking to the girl. So is Edward. How about you? Well, I think it's nice having someone young around the house, especially with Leslie being gone. Speaking of Leslie, has she found out anything? No, but she's only been gone a couple days. There's got to be a record somewhere. Monica, please. Wait, hey, Patricia Kokorian did not die of unnecessary surgery. We both know it. Hey, you're not supposed to get upset or think or worry about that lawsuit or anything else for that matter. The only thing that's important is you and your baby. I'm fine. Yeah, well, we both know better than that. Monica, I've seen your chart. Are you going to tell me what's wrong? Let's get back to the uh, doctor-patient relationship. Monica, what upset you so badly today? Nothing, really. The entries are right there in the chart. Now, something had to. Monica, I'm your doctor. I'm entitled to know. It was Alan. We had a, I guess you call it a scene. Don't the two of you realize, I, 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 the two... Rick, I started it. It was my fault. You started it. You know the complications that could arise with your condition. It started out innocently enough. It just, he started talking about uh, taking me home. And? And I told him I don't think I can go back home. You mean no. Rick, I don't even want to see that place again. I have just, I've grown to hate it. I see. I mean, every time I have to look at the staircase, uh, the truth is, it's never really been my home. That's right. Monica, you're afraid. You're afraid to go back there. That's <laughs> ridiculous, Rick. You're afraid of Alan. Those bruises aren't the result of your fall. They're from Alan trying to hold on to you when you were leaving him. He tried to grab me to keep me from falling. Monica, level with me, please. Alan has. He feels rotten about it. Yes, I know that. He's told me. You're not going to go back there, Ian. If you're afraid of another scene, I'll see to it that you don't. Rick, you, don't you have stay to. out of it. I can't, Monica. I mean it, Rick. You, I don't want you in my life any more than is necessary right now. Hi, we have enough trouble with the malpractice suit and Zelda Bernstein trying to link us together. Don't you see that? Monica, you're I'm not going back. Accusing us of collusion, Rick, of trying to hush up unnecessary surgery. That has nothing to do with what you're going to do when you leave this hospital. Rick, if, if you interfere with my relationship with Alan right now, you'll just complicate my life more. All right, I'll tell you what, we'll drop it. For now, until you're on your feet. But I want you to know you have a friend. You always will have a Okay, okay. Put it out of my mind for a while. Can I ask you something? Sure. Is there going to be a problem with the baby? I can't tell you any more than you already know or that you've already diagnosed yourself, Dr. Quartermain. I'm just so worried. Well, then don't let Alan or this malpractice suit upset you anymore. I mean, you know what has to be done, the tests that have to be taken when you're up to it, and then... These questions could all be answered more accurately. I know it. I know. Well, why don't we postpone the worrying? Because it's surely not doing you any good. I just, I'm just hoping so hard that baby's going to be all right. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, having pleasant thoughts. How about it? OK. I'll concentrate on what I'm going to do when I get out of here. Maybe I'll just, uh, I'll go someplace, get a rest. I'll go to someplace that's, uh, anywhere but the place I've been calling home. <laughs>